Hey, so welcome back, and this is another Daily Code Problem. So today it was called Kids with the Greatest Number of Candies, and it's just an easy level problem. You can actually do it in a, a one-liner. So all that you're given here is a candies array with a given number of candies for every single, I think, uh, child here. And then you have three extra candies that you can give these children. And all that you want to do is say that, okay, we want to return true if we can give the, this particular can, like this particular kid, three extra candies to give it greater than or equal to the maximum number of candies in this array. So all that means is if you give this child two can or three extra candies, it'll have five candies. And because the biggest number in this array is five, you want to return true because, well, five is greater than or equal to five, which is the maximum or the greatest number of candies in this array. At this step here, if you give this child three extra candies, it'll have six. And because five is the greatest number of candies currently, and six is greater than that amount, you also want to return true. Same with five, because five plus three is eight, and eight's bigger than five. The only one that you want to return false on is one here. Because if you do 1 plus 3, that is less than 5, so you want to return false. Okay, and so to do this, you can just do in one or two lines here. Um, I'll just do it split apart here. So the first thing that you want to do is figure out what is the current maximum in the candies array. And you can just do that by like the maximum candies is equal to the maximum of this array. And that will return 5. And then we just want to return an array of Boolean values. And we want to return true if the current number of candies, like current number, is greater than or equal to the maximum candies after we add the extra candies to it. And so that will define this is kind of our function for defining is it true or false. And we just want to do this for every candy in our candies array. Great, and that's it. Awesome. So this runs in O of n time. Um, if you make a one-liner, it'll be like O of n squared because you'll make this, you'll be performing this max operation for every iteration. So it's good to split these into two separate lines. Um, so this runs in O of n time because to determine the maximum, that takes O of n because you have to iterate through every number. And then for this, you have to iterate through every number to see, okay, if we add this extra candies to this current number, is it greater than or equal to? So O of n time in O of 1 space. So yeah, I hope that helped and good luck with the rest of your algorithms. Thanks for watching.